morning. Today is our first full day in Mostar. Almost as soon as we got in last night, we wanted to go check out the old bridge that is iconic here in Mostar. And we also had a chance to check out the other iconic bridge that's in the city, the Crooked Bridge, which is like the miniature version of the old bridge. Both bridges were spectacular. Um, originally they were constructed in the 1500s. The Crooked Bridge was constructed first as kind of a trial run for the old bridge um, before they constructed that. Unfortunately both were destroyed in the 90s during the war and they were both then reconstructed in the early 2000s. So they're not originals anymore but they pretty much redesigned them exactly how they looked prior to being destroyed. So today we were supposed to do this really cool hike called Outlaw's Gateway, which is about an hour north of Mostar. We had it all planned, we had a tour booked and everything, but the weather forecast was not looking great, so unfortunately our tour guide had to cancel that. And of course now today it hasn't rained yet all day, so that's just what happens sometimes. Um, so instead we're gonna explore the city a little bit more. We're gonna go check out some of the really iconic museums that they have here. Um, to try to learn more about the history in the city. So right now we're gonna get something to eat and then head off to the Old Bridge Museum. Let's go. All right, we just got done eating and now we're gonna go check out the Old Bridge Museum to learn a little bit about the history of that bridge. It's right at the corner and can be kind of hard to find. Easy to miss with all those vendors around. This is the museum. And that's the bridge. So it costs 10 Bosnian marks to get in per person. So it's 20 total for us. And not only do you get to learn about the history of the bridge, which is super interesting and dates back to the 1400s. Well, the wooden structure to the 1400s and the stone structure to the 1500s. But you also get this really nice bird's eye view of the bridge at the top of the tower. And Katie and I are literally the only ones in the museum right now, so we get the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> Describe what the woman said to us when we got in. Um, she said to go all the way up and get, go through all the levels, go all the way up, and then come back down, she'll show us the second part. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like it's like a home tour. But it's nice, it's informative. A lot of history in this region for sure. Oh, look, they have a Red Bull challenge going right now. All right, we just finished up at the tower and now we're on the second part of the tour. And again, we're the only ones doing this. And it's pretty lax. They just pretty much pointed second part oh, this way. So now we're checking out the dungeon. We had to check out the diving competition going on at the bridge. Everyone's come out to see the divers. A little bit higher than what we were going off of in Dubrovnik. So I really wanted to stop and get some traditional Bosnian coffee. And this is what it looks like. Um, the woman who works here is super sweet. She came out, told us that it's actually her cousin who owns this shop and they're the only coffee roaster in Mostar. And she described the process of making Bosnian coffee and how it's actually different from Turkish and other traditional Middle Eastern coffees. It was just funny because she also expressed that the culture around the coffee here is that um, you sip the coffee, usually it's like your coffee break, about an hour or so. You know, you don't worry about anything else. You don't grab your coffee to go. You don't you know, hustle and you don't, run all your errands while you're drinking the coffee, you just sit and you enjoy it. So, I'm really happy we got to stop. All right, do you want to try it and see how it is? All right, so we just finished up at our coffee break. So now we are off to check out the Warren Genocide Museum to, uh, to learn, learn about more about the Bosnian Herzegovina war that happened here in the 90s. Wow. I think you can just see where it was destroyed. The history in Mostar is definitely very 
very recent. Many buildings that were around in the 90s that are still standing still have bullet holes all over them. They're still repairing some of the structures that were destroyed. Unfortunately, the museum we were supposed to go to is closed right now because of the pandemic. So, not gonna be able to go to it this time, which we're really bummed out. We were looking forward to that a lot. So it's a new day and we've come back to breakfast at uh, this restaurant that we had yesterday. It's called uh, Saray and they have these really delicious pies. Um, that aren't like American pies, like they're not in the shape of a circle pie that you would think of. They're, they're like savory pastry. Well, they have to say, yeah. They're, they're rolled up kind of like taquitos, um, but they're delicious. And we got the spinach and spinach and cheese, and then there's a potato one that's really good as well. So we're probably gonna get the exact same thing we got yesterday, and it was delicious. Yep. Spinach one, potatoes, these are the pies. And then this is the delicious apple pie on the side. There's some freshly squeezed orange juice. We love it so much, we came twice. <laughs> All right, we are now heading to the bell tower that's just outside of the old town. Um, it's another iconic historical structure here in Mostar that apparently has some pretty nice views at the top. So it costs six marks per person to come off this bell tower. And basically we had to stop at this cafe next door and pay one of the waitresses and then they had a key to let us in. And just like the museum yesterday, Katie and I are the only ones in here. I don't know if it's because of COVID that they're doing it that way, but they're very hands off with, uh, with tour guides here. Um, and they kind of just let you roam and see what you want and do what you want while you're here and there's no there's no one around other than us um, but basically we took this lift about halfway up the tower and then uh, now we're taking the stairs the rest of the way to the top and if you come here um, be warned there's a bell that dings every 15 minutes <laughs> these bells right here ring every 15 minutes so Make sure you have a timer so that it doesn't startle you while you're up here. Because it scared us the first time. Yes, it did. I'm like no, it's, you, no, you gotta do time. Yes, I'm timing it. Made it to the top. Panoramic views of the whole city. This is pretty cool. I kind of wish that they that we were allowed to open these windows. But of course, probably for liability reasons, they keep them locked. Still getting a different view of the city than we've gotten so far here. All right, we just got done at the Bell Tower and stopped at a local brewery. Um, a local craft brewery, I should say. Got the American Pale Ale. The guy said it was the most popular here. Katie's sticking to water right now. For now. That's okay I'll though. Have some wine, maybe. No judgment. No judgment. So that'll probably end our night and really our end our time in Mostar because we leave for Kator tomorrow. Um, so that's exciting. But Mostar has been a lot of fun. We were disappointed that our hike got canceled. Uh, we were really looking forward to that. Um, but other than that, it's been a great time. Fortunately, the weather held up. We thought it was going to be raining the whole time we were here and it ended up being sunny pretty much the whole time. So that's good. But Hopefully we'll be back to do the hike in the future. I'd really yes. like to come back and do the hike. That's the plan. So we'll see. But that'll be about it for tonight. Tomorrow is Couture.